When we design a web page in HTML, tables are always a very important tool for that. Here in this video, we will see what are the different CSS classes that a bootstrap provides in order to decorate the table. So here, if you want to show any tabular data, you can actually work with the CSS table classes in bootstrap. So let's see what is all there available in the CSS classes for table. All right, so in this example of table here, we have just taken a simple table. As you can see, I haven't taken any class out here and just put the table inside then a caption and then table head, table headers and then inside the body, I added a couple of rows. So let's execute that and see how this particular table is looking in the browser. So as you can see, it is not showing anything fancy, but if I'll start putting some tags out there, some styles out there, it's definitely going to make some changes. So since it's a table, I will just add a table class out here and I'll save it, we'll refresh it and see. As you can see here, now it is looking much better than the previous output and here you can see the things are more clear and the lines are there for giving a look of a table. Apart from that, we can put some more classes out there which will give the different looks to these tables. So let's see what else I can do out there. So now, right after table, I added one more class that is table stripped so that it will show you the strips of different colors. So let's see that how it is looking on the browser. So I'll refresh it here and here you can see it first row is grayish and then the second row is white. So let me add one more row out there so that you can see how that strip is working because right now only two rows are there. So I'll add one more row, let's say Anadi Hyderabad. So when I'll refresh, you can see again the alternate rows are grayish and whitish. All right. So this is your stable stripped class. Now let's discuss another class here called table bordered. So basically when I will apply this particular class, a border will appear on the table. So as you can see, now the tables are enclosed inside the border. If you want, you can still continue with the stripped one. For that, I will use table stripped and bordered both the classes. So let's save this, refresh this and you can see it is stripped as well as bordered. But if you want that the color of the row should change when you are putting the mouse over that particular uh, row, so you can go for table hover class. So when I will execute this one, here you can see this particular color is getting changed. All right. So actually let me not remove that table border. So rather I will like to remove this one. So table bordered and hover. So here it will be like this. All right. So the highlighted means the current row on which you are pointing will be hovered up. All right. So now let's start doing some contextual representation of tables as in the typography we have used some classes like text primary, text warning, danger. Similarly, we can give the similar appearance to our table as well. So let's see how we can do that. It will be table active, table success, table warning and table danger. So that's the change which I have made now and let's see how the table is looking in the browser. So as you can see, this one is the active one, this one is primary, then warning and then danger. So these are the things which we have shown about the table over the browser. Now if you want that this table should be responsive enough for the smaller devices, then you can simply add one more class here over the table and that is the table responsive. All right. So here what I am doing is table hyphen responsive class I am adding. So as soon as you will shift your table 
or this particular page over a smaller device like tablet or mobile the horizontal scroll bar will automatically come out there so as you can see when I'm decreasing the size of this window alright so this is now here you can see the horizontal scroll bar is coming alright so this is basically the feature when you, you will use the table responsive class in your table when you are showing a tabular representation out here so this is all what you can do in bootstrap on the tables